smooching, necking, frenching. There are as many names for kissing as there are ways to do it. Whether we're giving a friendly peck on the cheek as a hello, or plunging our tongue deep down somebody's throat as a romantic gesture, there is an ingrained human instinct to kiss. But why? Philematology. Philematology. Philematology is the scientific study of kissing. I didn't know that was a thing, and I'm clearly on the wrong career path. Clearly. Phylos in ancient Greek stands for earthy love. Philematologists, these scientists who actually get to study kissing for their life, they aren't exactly sure why we kiss, even though that's their only job. Figure out why we kiss, study kissing. They theorize that it stems from the early parts of nature when a mother would literally chew up her food and mouth feed it to her baby in a form of like bonding and making sure the food wasn't poisoned. That is romantic. Gross. This lip to lip contact may not only have evolved as a form of survival, but also bonding and expressions of love. So when we kiss, there's a lot going on. A lot of things are getting exchanged. Like, for example, during kissing, couples exchange an average of 9 milliliters of water, 0.7 milligrams of protein, 0.18 milligrams of organic compounds, 0.71 milligrams of different fats, and 0.45 milligrams of sodium chloride. As many as 10 million to 1 billion bacteria representing 278 different species may be exchanged during an active kiss. And depending on what kind of party you've been to, maybe 2 to 3 grams of cocaine. Turns out it's also kind of a workout. Kissing consumes from 5 to 26 calories per minute. Studies have also shown that the exercise of the face during kissing could prevent wrinkles. You heard it old ladies, more makeouts. In 2007, there was a big study at the University of Albany, and they determined that kissing is a little bit more important to women than it is to men. Men are kind of sloppy in their decision making about kissing, whereas women take it pretty seriously. And this kind of comes down to one classic example is a lot of women won't have sex until they've kissed their partner, whereas guys will just put it wherever, whenever. But on both sides though, there is a relevance to both genders and they do take kissing somewhat seriously. And there's a good reason for that. Mate selection, right? Picking the right mate. Now remember we were talking about before about how things get exchanged during a kiss. Well, there are a lot of hormones and other telling signs, sort of at a molecular level, in your saliva. So if you think about it, Kissing allows you to get that proximity, to be able to sense and exchange a lot of that little micro information to help you figure out whether or not that person is a mate with whom you'd like to mate. Some scientific research has even shown that we can tell some very deep immunity factors about that person from that kiss. When a man and woman get together and their genes get all smashed up when they reproduce, men and women have genes ideally that don't mirror each other but mesh with them in the sense that they offer protection that they don't have. And there's actually been studies that show that when it comes to scent and saliva, we can actually sense at a very deep level whether or not that person has that right match of genetic immunity. But kissing isn't all about the mating practice. It also feels good, ladies and gentlemen. Our lips are 100 to 200 times more sensitive than our fingertips. During this all important kiss, the brain literally goes into sensory overdrive. We are flooded with chemicals that feel like an explosion in our minds and our bodies. This chemical cocktail is made up of three specific chemicals designed to make us feel good and crave more. The ever important dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin. The dopamine alone that is released during a kiss gives us the same feeling as being on heroin or cocaine. As a result, we will experience a feeling of euphoria and addictive behavior, wanting just more and more of that kiss and that person. I don't know what kind of shitty heroin you've been doing, but it is way better than kissing. No, Maybe you're better. kissing I've ever the wrong people. Heroin. So we've got all this dopamine that is making us feel good and want more. But then we have oxytocin, otherwise known as the love hormone, simultaneously fostering feelings of love and affection towards our drug feeling. 
Finally, the levels of serotonin present while kissing resemble that of a person with obsessive compulsive disorder. So we feel good, we want more, we're addicted, we also think we're falling in love, feeling attached and slightly obsessed with you. Sounds like a first date. It's not all just about these feel good drugs. It turns out that there's also a reduction in stress level. Wendy Hill and colleagues at Lafayette College found that when kissing, our levels of cortisol, our stress hormone, actually decrease. So all this makes me wonder, I'm confused. It's used for mate selection, a lot of cool things are exchanged, it makes us feel high. But have you noticed how, you know, a couple years into a relationship, and especially like, you know, 10 years into a relationship, you don't see that many people just like viciously making out anymore. I don't know, like if it was such an important thing, why do we stop doing it so adamantly, like now it's, we, everybody just jumps to the to the P and V, and like they don't even bother with the kissing anymore. My first reaction would be that that mate selection process is over. So kissing is so important to mate selection. So when you have that mate for ten months or ten years, you really don't need to see if they're a match for you anymore. But given that it does make you feel high and has been proven to reduce your stress, it is shocking to me too that we don't do it anymore. I think when you are in a fight with your boyfriend or husband, just be like. Shut up and kiss me. Especially since there's no pressure to perform, right? I just gotta have a hard tongue. The bottom line, men, if you're still watching, <laughs> is kissing is really important to women. We need it. We need it before sex, and it's making us decide if we like you. It also tricks us into thinking we're addicted to you and in love with you. So if you don't like kissing, start liking it, and if you don't know how, time to learn. Quick two second lesson 360 swirl. <laughs> don't do that. All you need to know. Don't do that. Imagine if we still did that. I do. Oh, baby, I love you. No, no, no. Yeah. Did you want a nacho? No. Oh, gross. Oh, that's so gross. Gross. And depending on what kind of party you've been to, maybe two to three grams of cocaine. And herpes. And just a smidge of semen. <laughs> okay, let's keep things positive. We don't have to say that. It's okay, because we, we did say semen. Yeah, that's how, okay, how is that that's positive? not positive. I feel like I have something weird. Sorry. Can't semen on your lips. <laughs> Is that why you guys like blowjobs so much? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not a fact, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do that in another video. <laughs> why um, chicks love giving blowjobs? Blow <laughs> uh, that's just six second video. video. Yeah. We don't. <laughs>